Hi. What's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. Good. Have a seat. All right. All right. You've had a successful football career, first round draft pick, four Pro Bowl nominations. Where does this Vikings nomination for Walter Payton Man of the Year rank in all of those? Um, man, it's right up there, you know, if not, if not the top one um, for, for a lot of reasons. On behalf of the Vikings and uh, Walter Payton Man of the Year, um, I'd like to present this award to one of my good friends, Anthony Barr. He pushes me to do better in the community, and uh, he's a community guy himself, so congrats. Thank you for the kind words, Eric. How did you first find out about the nomination? Uh, it was a Saturday walkthrough. Uh, after the walkthrough, uh, a couple of the PR guys had grabbed me and said I had to do an interview. And um, I was like, I thought we was done. I was ready to go home. <laughs> they you got know. you good, they got didn't me they? Good. Yeah, they gave me a little <laughs> video. Uh, Chad Greenway. You just want to press play here. Hey, B, what's up? It's your boy Chad. Just want to reach out. Um, just to let you know how proud of you I am to lead in our community, man. This is what it's really all about, and you made a massive impact. And they walked me outside around the corner, and um, it's a lot of the families that we have supported, uh, my family included. When did y'all set this up? On the Man of the Year jerseys, and that's when I kind of knew Eric Andrews was there, and I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I see, I see where this is going, you know, so it was cool. Yes, man. Much love, bro. What were your emotions like in that moment? A lot of emotions. I was excited, confused, um, uh, proud, uh, humbled. You started out small doing community events around here, and now you have your very own foundation, Raise the Bar. The foundation is set out to help poverty two generations at a time. How did you draw from your childhood when you came out with that mission statement? Yeah, I mean, really, my childhood was, was three generations. So I grew up in my grandparents' house. So it was my grandparents, my mom, and myself. It was really um, taking what we learned and what we experienced and then taking that to, in, a, in a helpful way to help uh, provide these opportunities for these families. The work we do is multi-generational. I mean, it really is inspired by our multi-generational you know, family. That was the starting place, but it really is about shining a light on those who may not otherwise have had an opportunity to finish that degree or to get access to certain resources they need. When did it click for you? Is there a specific moment where you were like, I know that my efforts can impact change? Um, I think really just spending time with um, the moms uh, and the kids and just seeing, uh, like I'm looking at myself, you know, 20, 25 years ago and seeing my mom, you know, 20, 25 years ago and I'm like, you know, I wish we had um, something like this. And we, we did it with our family support system, but uh, the financial uh, aspect of it to, to grant these families the opportunity uh, to kind of take back the power of their lives, um, something that we didn't have. The help of that scholarship and the fund has allowed me to be able to continue my education. The gift isn't just money. It's that time with my child and that time with my studies. It's funny, I was watching a lot of videos or, or photos of your work and your face just lights up when you're around those families and those kids. What is it about giving back to them that you get out of it? Uh, I mean, I love kids, really. I don't have any of my own, but I grew up um, in, a, in a pretty big family. Uh, I'm the oldest of 16 cousins. I'm a kid, really, when it comes down to it, you know, I, I like to do things that kids do, have, have fun, laugh, play. He's like a kid magnet, and even though he's this big, huge football player, the kids aren't afraid of him. I think that says a lot about people. You have a real relationship with these families. When does it become less about the money you can provide to help them and more about fostering those relationships? Yeah, I mean, I think at first with any relationship, um, there's some trepidation, right? You don't really know what, like they don't know why I'm truly there. What's my what's my real uh, goal, objective? Am I there to really help? Am I there to kind of show face and, um, you know, get my name on a plaque or whatever? Um, but I think the more you show up and the more you continue to show up and you're consistent with those efforts, they realize like, okay, this is, he's really trying to help us. If that moment comes and you are the NFL Walter Payton Man of the Year. I mean, what would that mean? It, it would be so far from being about me. It's uh, my name would be attached to it, but it's really about you know my, my mother's my mother's story, um, the parents' story, the kids' story, um, and I, I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for for these families as well. So um, they're as much worthy of this award as I am.